I mean, if we're talking about a baseline of five and a half years, it, it could be bigger post pandemic. The ba yung nakikita ninyo? Yeah, As they, they, they say it's five and a half to six years uh, back uh, oh. a deficit, learning deficit. So it's quite a, a mountain to overcome, but but you have to do it uh, gradually. I think it, there's a way of, of addressing it. And uh, I think the direction of uh, decongesting the curriculum is good and focusing on essential foundational skills and competencies. Literacy, numeracy, reading, comprehension, uh, mathematics, science. I think, I think that should be the, the way to go. And um, in terms of K-12, to I just realized that uh, as a parent, it, it, it made me realize that kids in the private schools and the public schools, so K-12 to is an equalizer, actually, because before K-12, to I already did 13 years of uh, primary or basic education without the K-12. to It wasn't required. But because my parents made the decision to send me to a school that provided kindergarten and uh, nursery before grade one, and it had merong grade seven, na wala sa public school, uh, yun, ang, yun ang nakita ko na may advantage na nga yung private in terms of economic uh, uh, circumstances. Eh, parang in education pa, nagkaroon siya ng advantage. So, you know, it, it, the inequalities were were emphasized. So, it's, 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 sa akin, okay na nag-move tayo to K-12, Cathy. Pero, uh, yung implementation, importante, but kailangan, nakita namin na kailangan bantayan yung implementation. Because right now, the K-12 curriculum, uh, maganda yung intention, uh, bigyan ng uh, additional skills, maging internationally competitive yung ating mga graduates, uh, maging employable, uh, maganda yung intention, pero yung actual uh, rollout or implementation has been a little r rocky and uh, uh, we've, we've gotten a lot of uh, feedback from the private sector, from the education sector, and uh, we want to reform it uh, more in line with best practices here and abroad as well as um, try to decongest the curriculum. Because right now, uh, the senior high school curriculum has 22 subjects, uh, which everyone must take, regardless of track. If you want to go tech voc, technical vocational education, meaning you don't plan on going to college in the near future, or kung mag college ka, academic track ka, or mag sports or arts ka, you have to do 22 subjects, which is too much. You go, you go all over the world. No one requires their senior high school students or uh, similarly aged students to do that number of subjects. They require you to pick the subjects. They give you freedom to choose the subjects that you desire and to uh, to develop a certain rigor or mastery of these subjects. Because parang pre-college mo yan eh. So, e tayo, parang tinambakan natin yung curriculum na halos lahat na walang focus masyado. So, that's something we want to retool. And number two, yung promise of employability. Uh, kasi umangal yung mga parents, ha? Yeah, mahirap nga kami, tapos bibigyan mo pa kami ng dalawang taon, mawawala pa yung mga anak namin ng two years earning capacity or loss of uh, earning capacity. So, the, in terms of skills, we want to give them more uh, links with, uh, with, 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 with future employment. It, number one, it increases their chances of getting hired. At number two, it gives them real-life skills and, and introduces them to the world of work. So, you're 4K to 12, but it's just the implementation. Yes. Ito yung kailangan nating sagutin. Yes.